Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Gay Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, in our last episode, we were trying to... Uh, we were joined by Alistair and Hawk, or at least a Hawk imposter, as far as I'm concerned, um, to attempt to get to the bottom of what was going on with the Great Wardens. Lo and behold, we find out what exactly is... They were tricked into um, helping... They were tricked into helping the Venatori and Corypheus. And, you know, on paper it made sense. I can't blame the Wardens too much. But um, now we're trying to write what's wrong, so... Come on, horsey. Right, we've got a bunch more pattern stuff. There we go. Three of them. And we only need one more, right? Because there's one right over there by the camp, which I can just fast travel to. There's also one right by the by the fort, which is where we're gonna fast travel to as well, but almost there. Bunch of those dogs. It's over here. Never mind. Went the wrong direction. It's okay. Oh, I can't call the horse during combat. Fine. Fine, fine. Keep it up, guys. Attack my target. Come on, Vivian. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going through. Oh wow! I'm going through potions really fast. Oh my gosh! How did I die? Fourteen. Sheesh. Yeah, these guys are really tough. Apparently, Colin is ready to. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh dear.
Here, drop this. Raise him up, raise him up, raise him up, raise him up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we, we just met up with some really tough, tougher enemies. Varric! Varric? Oh jeez. Get, in, get into the circle, Varric. Oh, that Herlock Alpha is getting on my nerves. Tears of the Dead. Jeez, this is getting really tough. Ugh. Get away! Away with you! Here, I'm gonna drop another healing. Oh, Beric, don't leave the safety of the circle! Vivian, you gotta keep it up. Um, kill that Herlock now. Before, thank you. Yeah, these level 14s kind of took us by surprise. Oh, jeez, that was tough. I was getting really worried there. Blackwall slightly approves from doing what? Have we been to this area, by the way? There we go. And back to Landmark, Griffin Wing Keep. Yeah. So we can heal up, get our potions back, because, wow. That was... Upgrade potions. Oh, upgrade potions. I meant to go here and see if I could. Lyrian potion, regeneration potion. Rock armor tonic, grenades. Healing mist. Uh, increase healing, yes. I need rash finds and prophet's laurel. Okay. Jar of bees. Increase panic attack chance. Yeah. Let's increase, let's increase that. Tonics. Rock armor, tears of the dead. I don't really use those as much. Regenerate potion. Hmm. Ethereum potion. Yeah, I really need rash find. Nettle. Healing potion. It's still locked. Requires increased healing one. Oh, because I don't have enough. I now I have six now that I have six dawn lotuses, I don't have um I don't have enough elf fruit. Okay. Keep that in mind. Improved duration. I don't have Elf fruit, improved potency. I'm gonna save my elf fruit for the potions. Tears of the dead. Yeah, I, I, all right. Good to know though. Craft armor, equip potions. Yeah, more of these for Vivian. Varric, iron bowl, art needs more of these. And black wall, more of those. There's going to be an exclamation point here. Inquisitor. Report. What's the situation in the warden's fortress? 
Bandits moved in. Worse than Quillbacks, if you ask me. Mm. They're holed up in there and using it as a base to strike at our supply caravans. Blasted scavengers. Well, we'll take care of it. Report, Captain. What's the situation in the Western approach? Business as usual, Inquisitor. Sandstorms, deadly wildlife, people other than us mad enough to come out here. If anything noteworthy happens, you'll know. That's all. Carry on, Captain. Yes, Inquisitor. Better courtyard. So, did we just get a mission? I think we did. We got hunting patterns. Oh, just look at how many dead burn showing. So I thought we already did that. Fortress squatters. Bandits have occupied an old warden fortress in the western approach and are raiding camper caravans at Griffin Wing. Depends on your for supplies. All right, let's go ahead and tackle that, and then we can move on. Continue moving on again with. Alistair's and Hawk's quest. Return to Frederick. Yeah. Nothing to report, sir. Still alive, I see, Frederick. What was that? Oh, my fellow researcher. What can I do for you? I spotted several dragon signs around the approach. Most excellent, my friend. I don't suppose you noted the wound pattern? <laughs> no matter, I'll look into that later. Andrast is mercy. From what I can tell, the dragon has been moving east and will be scouring the wastes next. Okay. Naturally, the dragon's hunting ground is full of miscreants. White claw raiders. They've covered the area in traps for maker only knows reasons. Quite a mess. All right, I better go. Even though I know you're taking, sending me on another quest. We'll have to speak some other time. Sharper white claws, traps destroyed. Okay. Um. The white claws won't be happy with that the traps are destroyed. Senior raiders will likely investigate, provi providing an, any an ideal moment to take them out. All right, might as well do this while we're here. Because this this kind of spreads out the quests a bit while we're in the areas, so. Let the story gradually, you know, gradually come to us. Right, so this is where all the traps are. Destroy the trap. We don't want these white claws bothering us while we're while we're miscreanting with them. the trap as I walked right over it. Yeah, I already went that way into that cave. Um, it's a phoenix. I don't want to bother with the phoenix if I don't have to. And it looks like I have to.
Back off. Take that pump. Oh, Ferex dropping some. Nice. One more trap. What was the last trap? There's another phoenix there. I don't like how it's looking at me. Take that. Looking around, folks. There's gotta be another trap around here. Destroy trap. There we go. Well, that should get somebody's attention. Yeah, I think the white claws are coming. Here they come. something there. Maybe a fire to your face? Yeah, I got a sword too. Back to Frederick and report back. The Zares pass. Very unlikely that she could be nesting at this time of year. Ah, fellow researcher, how can I help you? The raiders are no longer in the way. I've made note of the appropriate spots in the wastes for you to place lures. Oh, jeez. Place this bait, and then wait. <laughs> it will be a I don't know if I'm ready to dragon bait the up. dragon yet. I'll bait the dragon, but. I'm off to plant the bait for the high dragon. I cannot wait to hear your observations. You must make note of how she's so Yeah, I'm afraid I might end up getting into a fight with a dragon, so I'm not going we'll to bait it yet. Time. But I just wanted to get the quest. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, we're going to do that some other time. Not quite right now. 
Sorry, Frederick. It may very well be that I don't actually get into a fight by baiting the dragon, but just in case, I'm not gonna risk it. We've got a little few more important things to do in the Inquisition for the time being. I mean, granted, maybe through his research we might be able to get insight on how to defeat the dragon that Corypheus has, but... Discovered. I discuss this. Hmm. Ooh, there's the fort they were talking about. We can claim that fort for our own. That'll be doubly good for the Inquisition, since then we would have two forts in the Inquisition that we would have control over. This is a grand looking one, too. So, are we just gonna go on through the front door, eh? Alright. Two. Oh, two of them, eh? Get some black wall. Yeah, thank you. I was like, a little help, Vivian. Beautiful. Oh, already? Well, I expect it to be more of a fight. Hang velvet. The Gate Guardians. And as I walked in the desert, I saw a great armored figure whose form blotted out the sky. At first, I took it to be no more than met, than met I, a simple spiked statue, but as I approached, the deceptive icon transformed into a warrior as graceful as it was massive. Its bladed staff leveled at me with energy crackling from its tip, though my position was hardly optimal. Primal magic burned a few feet from my face. I kept my wits and asked this mighty golem to show me mercy. The armored figure spoke with a voice to make the sky quake and the stars scream. It sought magic to keep itself alive. It said, and the blood of the earth was the energy on which it survived. Having knowledge of the dwarves and the lyrium they provided to our mages, I directed the golem to the mage Atronis, who lived in nearby per uh, Perivantium, and it left without another word. That is the inspiration for the gate guardians I have designed. As fanciful a tale as it might seem, as for why I have asked each that each guardian cast from my designs, be inset with a small lyrium rod. Oh yeah, the control rod. I must primarily state that uh, it is mere fancy if Archon Ishal, gently autocrat that he is, sees fit to ensure that my statues are known across the empire. I hear that one shall stand in western in the western approach. I would treasure the small hope that someday I might uh, oops, I might see one walk again. A tale told by Appius Trias, famed sculptor whose creations all sparked the imagination of those who beheld them from artists of ancient to winter. Looks like art leveled. Yeah. Spot level of your Knight Enchanter specialization. Resurgence. No, I can't yet unlock it. Which side was I gonna go? Um, combat clarity. The chaos of combat frightens some, but for you it's a comfortable rhythm. Your mana regenerates faster when you're near hostile enemies. I like that. Fade Cloak, you surround yourself with the magic of the veil itself. You're briefly invulnerable and can pass through enemies unharmed. Oh, that's useful too. Veil Deposit, whenever you have a barrier active, enemies who attack you will take damage in return. Oh, I like that too. Fade Shield, you draw back the energy released by your enemies and your attacks against them. Any successful... Um, attack strength is your barrier. The more damage you do, the more powerful your barrier grows. Huh. Um, okay. Well, I, I like this. Just the ability to be able to be briefly invulnerable and I can pass through enemies and I can get, you know, whenever I have a bear active, enemies who attack me take damage as well. That's nice. Um, Fade Cloak. I do like that a lot. Okay.
I don't know if there's anything of interest in this camp. Really? No mosaic or anything? Looks like there's some tome here that I might be interested in, but apparently not. Okay. Dragon lore is placed. Yeah, we'll lure ourselves a dragon land. Nothing really here? Nothing? Okay. What was that? It's like, what was that? I was like, oh, is the dragon coming this way early? Um. Dragon land team. I feel there is some sort of. There are probably. There's gotta be some sort of. Um. Landmark that I haven't claimed yet in the Dragon Age, in the Dr Griffin Key. Probably below. All right, I'm gonna talk to Rylan. Inquisitor. That's all. Carry on, Captain. Yes, Inquisitor. I guess I didn't have to turn it in. Let me see if I can find this landmark real quick. I feel like it's gonna be here somewhere. Out of here. There we go. What do you think happens if you get the Red Lyria? Would you know before? Andras stay willing. We'll never know. Oh, loot! I didn't get this one yet. Superior and Chatter Mail and the Bleeder. Whoa. Okay. Something over there that I hmm. come take a look. Just don't touch the merchandise. Some of it is Let me just check this out before I end the video. not. Well, whatever. Alright. I think we're gonna make our way back to Skyhold again and continue on with the main storyline. So, I will stop right here. Um, thank you guys again for watching this episode of Gay Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. Tune in next time, folks, and until then, love yourselves and love each other.